A lot of you have been hearing things about a soft fork potentially coming to Bitcoin called BIP-119, or as my Spanish friends like to say, uno uno nueve. Well, we're gonna talk about what that exactly means because it's a little, little controversial and a little confusing, but make sure you watch this entire video so you stay up to date to know what you should be thinking about this potential update and what it would do to Bitcoin's future price. For many in the Bitcoin community, BIP-119, aka Operation Check Template Verify, or OPCTV, has suddenly come out of nowhere to spread fear about the potentially disastrous implications of this proposed soft fork. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of what BIP-119 is all about, and then wrap it up with what I think is really going on. If you find this video helpful, please give that like button some love, and even consider subscribing to stay up to date on the ever-changing world of crypto. Some of you might be wondering what a soft fork even is, so I'm gonna tell you. Blockchains are sequences of information blocks that behave according to a set of predetermined rules. A soft fork introduces new rules that both the existing blockchain and the new forked chains will follow into the future. Put simply, a soft fork is a set of new rules that a blockchain will follow. Now that you better understand what soft forks are, let's get into the new rules that the originator of BIP-119 is proposing. Jeremy Rubin is a seasoned blockchain developer who does not have the best reputation in the development community. Rubin's BIP-119 proposal put into simple terms would introduce a rule allowing more complex covenants which are like smart contracts on the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, smart contracts are a ubiquitous technology throughout the crypto space because they expand the number of use cases a blockchain can have. Smart contracts fundamentally connect multiple parties to a desired computational execution with minimal risk. BIP-119 would expand the possibilities of Bitcoin. All right, so BIP-119 is sounding pretty good. Why is it controversial? The first negative about Rubin's BIP-119 is that it has been seen by the community as too much change too fast. This Twitter poll from Jimmy Song gathers consensus on how the community feels about the speedy trial angle of the controversy. You can see that more than half of the responses are opponents to the new operation Check Template Verify or OPCTV. A speedy trial is a fast lane for BIPs, or Bitcoin improvement proposals, to get merged with Bitcoin's core. Speedy trial was instrumental in implementing Taproot on November 14th, 2021. Andreas Antonopoulos, a Bitcoin programming expert, also commented on how he felt a speedy trial activation is entirely inappropriate for now. Andreas raised some concerns that bring us to the second negative for BIP-119. Andreas argues that expanding the use cases for Bitcoin could drive up the fees and further congest the blockchain. Further, Andreas states that Bitcoin's simplicity is its strength and that expanding Bitcoin's covenants opens Bitcoin up to more exploits, bugs, and vulnerabilities. So potentially higher fees and less security. That's why BIP-119 is controversial and certainly not ready for a speedy trial. In a recent article, Protos.com points out an even more sus issue with BIP-119's champion, Jeremy Rubin, which is the fact that his research and development firm, Judicia, would benefit from check template verify because he and his team wrote the proposed smart contract code in a programming language called Sapio or Sapio. There is nothing particularly wrong with his company benefiting, but it seems reckless for Rubin to be the one pushing so strongly when the community has not reached a consensus. So can we accredit the recent fall of Bitcoin's price to the fear and confusion surrounding BIP-119? Most likely not. As most folks who have been in the crypto community know, the price of Bitcoin is determined by a variety of economic forces that have a variable impact depending on their intensity and severity at a given time. Forces like the central bank's interest rates and debt buying policies, unrest in the Ukraine, and global supply chain congestion has more to do with the Bitcoin's falling price than this issue. Bitcoin's integrity is not fragile. In fact, I would argue that as this BIP-119 discussion continues to play out, we will see yet again just how resistant Bitcoin is to attempts to hastily change it. So while BIP-119 is not affecting the price right now, we do want to continue to keep our eyes on it because it could have impact down the road, but where we stand right now, we shouldn't be concerned. That's all I have for you, but be sure to show that like button some love on your way out and consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Whoa! Wow! Look at this guy! He watched the entire video. What a cool guy. I think the next thing that he wants to do is hit the like button and then probably even subscribe to the channel. And perhaps even comment down below what he thought. That, that would be pretty cool. Wow. What a cool guy.